A rat spots the scent of a cat. Normally, every nerve in its body should scream, run. It hesitates, then moves closer. It's not bravery. It's not madness. It's a parasite quietly pulling the strings from inside its brain. Meet Toxoplasma gondii, a single-celled puppet master that has learned how to play with instincts. This parasite is everywhere. It can live inside almost any warm-blooded animal, including humans. But its true home, the only place it can reproduce, is the body of a cat. Cats are its final destination, its ultimate host. The journey starts in a very ordinary way. When a cat is infected, it sheds parasite eggs, called oocysts, in its feces. Those microscopic eggs survive in soil, water, or on surfaces for months, just waiting for their next host. That host often turns out to be a rat. All it takes is a sip of contaminated water, a bite of food, or even a snack of an insect that's already carrying the parasite. Once inside, Toxoplasma sets up camp in the rat's muscles and brain, hiding inside cysts. And this is where things get dark. Normally, rats are terrified of cats. The scent of cat urine alone is enough to send them fleeing for their lives. But an infected rat? Something inside its brain shifts. Fear fades. Sometimes it even flips into attraction. Instead of running from danger, the rat wanders closer, drawn to the very animal that wants to eat it. For Toxoplasma, the rat is just a stepping stone. The real prize is waiting inside the cat. When the rat gets eaten, the parasite completes its cycle and begins the next generation. But here's the twist. Rats aren't the only victims. Humans can carry Toxoplasma gondii too. In fact, it's one of the most widespread parasites on Earth. Roughly 30 to 50% of the global population is infected. That means at least one in three people walking this planet are hosting this parasite without knowing it. For most, the infection is silent. The immune system keeps it under control, and symptoms, if they appear at all, feel like a mild flu. But if this parasite can rewire a rat's brain so dramatically, what might it be doing to us? Some studies hint that infected humans may be more likely to take risks, or that their reaction times may become a bit slower. Because the parasite's goal is to reach the cat, even if it means killing its current host by any means necessary. I hope you learned something new today. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you tomorrow.